What's up, backstage community? Good to hang with you guys again. Um, we've had so much fun uh, last year and in years past, and um, so excited because I, I I know there are so many um, people that that I personally know that are that are watching this, and I'm so excited. So let's just jump right in, shall we? Here we go, you guys. Mindset is everything. So we're going to start with this. You get how you feel. How you're feeling now is what you're going to get. So throughout this, what we're going to do today, this mindset work is everybody watching, wherever you are in the world, I'm going to, we're all going to do this together. So I'm going to take everybody through this together. Even though I'm going to be working with, with Hannah and Jade in a second, we're all going to be hanging out together. Um, so I want everybody right now to think of the things that I want you to be really specific and think of the things that you really want. Okay. It could be career. It could be personal. And I want you to really get specific because I'm going to ask Hannah and I'm going to ask Jade to do the same thing. Think of those things you really want for yourself and don't go halfway to it. Go all the way to it. You know, go, go right to the end of your fantasy. Um, because if you go halfway to it and just have the attitude, I'll take what I can get, you're going to get other people's boat wake. I want you guys to be driving the boat. So how you feel is what you get. So think of these incredible things that you want. Maybe it's a series regular. Maybe it's a series lead. Maybe it's a lead or supporting uh, in a feature film. Maybe it's something personal for yourself as well. We're going to be talking about career stuff today. And I want you to think, is it the actual thing? Is it the item? Is it the role that you want? Or is it how you're going to feel when you have that role? And I think it's both. But I think the feeling part of it is one of the most important things. What if it's possible to feel how you would feel having the ultimate thing of your dreams? What if it's possible to feel that now? not as a lollipop to not get the thing you want, but knowing that's how you're going to get it faster. That's how you're going to tip it into you faster by, by lighting yourself up to that. So I personally believe that you guys, actors watching this can launch your careers faster and with less effort when you're lit up with fun. Okay, this was always meant to be fun, you know, not misery or suffering. Every part of this uh, can and should be fun. And these are a couple things, three things that are most important. Bravery, okay? Bravery. One, two, stop pleasing. You want to cut the cord of any any time you feel yourself thinking, I wonder what they want, or I want, you know, wonder what what anybody wants. Don't, you got to stop pleasing people in order to do your best work. And also number three is being lit up with fun all the time. You want to be lit up with fun all the time. The difference between good and great is this little bit extra. It's the ability to start every scene, to walk into every situation um, emotionally lit up. It's about getting braver. My friend, uh, Eugene Simon, who's also a client, he was on Game of Thrones for six seasons playing Lannister, uh, Lancel Lannister, said it best. After six seasons of Game of Thrones, he said this, it doesn't get easier, you just get braver. And I love that. Nothing gets easier, you get bravery. And there is bravery in being fully yourself. So permission to be yourself, it's what was always wanted. And I've talked about this before with, with you guys as a uh, part of this community through Backstage. 90% of the performance is your personality. It's the personality of the actor. Your personality is your secret weapon, both as an actor in, and in your career. And we're not playing ourselves, but we're realizing that you cannot create a character with a humanity and a soul that's more infinite and interesting than your own. Does that make sense? So we're using ourselves. We're figuring out under what conditions would it be possible um, if we felt that, finding ways of relating and identifying. Stanislavski said it best. The person you are is a thousand times more interesting than the greatest actor you could ever hope to be. Uh, a new a friend and client, Pearls Daily, who is a regular recurring on Marvelous Miss Maisel, one of my favorite shows, 
said this. She had this realization and Pearls, if you're listening, thank you so much for inspiring us with this. She said there was a point when she realized that she is happier and things are better when she, she said, I'm pretty much myself all the time. And she said, and people are going to like you or not. And it doesn't matter. It's that is out of your control. Um, with regards to the audition, the job is to stand out without screaming, not to fit in, not to please, not to back off. So let's come back to that for a second, letting go of the need to please. You can't create and please at the same time. This is really important. You can't create and please at the same time. And rule number one of any audition scenario is this. Don't guess what they are looking for. Assume you are who they are looking for and bring yourself to the role with a fun and dangerous choice. Why should we not guess what they are looking for? They don't know what, what, what they're looking for oftentimes. They're looking for you to be the solution to a problem. So many times we hear this from the producers when the actors book the role, they say, wow, thank you for being the only one willing to take a risk. It was the, it was the one reason why we could tell the network we were done with casting. It wasn't at all what we were looking for. It was better. So the other thing too is I want you actors watching this to be empowered. Great actors know what great acting feels like, okay? Um, great actors know what great acting feels like. You don't have to watch your playback. You don't have to get critique to know that great acting feels, one, fun. If it's not fun, it's not working, okay? Two, effortless. If it doesn't feel effortless, it's not working. Three, impact. You want to have impact. It's everyday life with all the boring parts cut out. And four, your best work should feel like your version of it, not like your idea. So let go of your ideas to discover your version of it. How you're feeling is your strongest and best indicator of whether it's working or not. So we're coming back to this topic of you know something's working because you're feeling awesome and lit up with fun. And how do we do this? It's so important to talk out loud in an emotional way, not to figure this stuff out. The work that we're going to do today is the, is the us that's coming into a room. And it's the same is true when you're working on the acting. It needs to be talked out loud using your emotional words because your emotional words out loud create that reality in the moment for you. And when you find that, it's confidence. And confidence is self-sustaining. It has a half-life. It's going to last. It's going to last uh, for a while. The gatekeeper is you. So I really want you to understand that. It's not the casting directors. It's not the agents and managers. The gatekeeper is you. And I think the journey to your best selves your best versions of you as actors, your best career is always a journey back to yourself. It's the inner work is always a journey back to your lit up, confident, highest version of yourself. So the question is, are you ready to show this industry you? Are you ready to show the industry who you are? And we're going to get clarity on that. And as I work with, you know, we work together with Hannah and Jade, I'm really going to be working with all of you at the same time. So thank you so much for coming on this fun ride with us today. And Brianna, thank you uh, very much for inviting me to do this and creating the space, the safe space with which to play. Hannah, hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm so happy to be here and to be, is it this, this, this makes me feel happy as well to do this work. Hannah, tell everybody uh, who you are and where you're located. Uh, my name is Hannah Rose. I am located in New York. Um, cool. I am a dual citizen of the U.S. and the U.K. And I know I asked some questions about expanding, yeah. you know, yeah. into other markets. I'm predominantly based in New York right now. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit. Good, good. Uh, welcome. And I've talked about this before in other backstage videos, but there's this sort of um, myth of location is no longer a thing. It hasn't been for a while, but it really took the events of the last year to sort of collapse that, that you can do anything from anywhere. Um, location is never an obstacle to your success. So I'll, I'll, that's what I'll say. 
what, uh, first of all, let's start with this and then we're going to get to what you want. Hannah, how are you feeling these days? What's your sort of feeling state place like uh, in general these days? Generally? Yeah. Uh, the pandemic's got me down for sure. <laughs> Thank you for being honest because I bet a lot of other folks might feel that way. Got you down. So you're feeling, feeling yeah. a little what? Oh yeah. I, I'm absolutely feeling exhausted. Um, okay. There's so much going on in the world that is insane and beyond, it feels like it's beyond all of our control, you know? Um, and I feel like lots of things have gotten derailed by this past sort of year, you know? Okay. Um, and I, I worry about all the people I love all the time. So how would it feel to, to kind of like get, get it back on the rails a little bit right now? Would you like to? Yes, let's, please. Let's do that. Okay. So let's see. So Hannah says, Hannah Rose says, one of my goals is to be working in both London and NYC. I just showcased online, got a new agent in New York, which has led to more auditions. Congratulations. That is awesome. I would love to increase that number of auditions further and have them in more places. All very doable. Anything that's capable of being done, you can do it. Okay. And I always say uh, a wise mentor of mine said, what is for you will not go by you, but you have to be willing to reach out and grab it. So, and you said, should I focus on meeting casting directors or more agents and managers? That's a question we can maybe touch on a little bit. The answer is simple. Um, it is building relationships with executives, with producers, with, with directors and, and casting directors and reps. And the first thing is to get clarity. So Hannah, what would be one of the most beautiful things that you would like to achieve? I want you to go to the end and everybody feeling and connecting to this right now. I want you to think about that again, plug into another one. Um, what would be incredible? A dream that nobody will judge that you would like to be doing, going to the end of a fantasy for yourself, uh, Hannah. Sure. I have to, I wrote down all my realistic ones. The one that you're supposed to write down for those people when you're networking, but. I want to say something about realistic, but I probably shouldn't say it out loud, but you know what realistic, F realistic. Hey, I want to know realistic or not, Hannah, what would be amazing? Sure. Um, I would love to have a career that sort of like the love child career of Amelia Clark's career and Alison Bree's career. I think that I would love to um, work on some like high fantasy stuff and Good. some magic stuff. What's um, an example of that? What's an example of some high fantasy or magic stuff? Like, give me an example. Give us an example. We love Game of Thrones, The Magicians. Um, those are all really fantastic shows. Good. Uh, so what would be awesome to, do, to be doing what on one of those shows or a spinoff? What would be incredible? Like, really push it to the specifics of that. What would it look like? Oh, Hannah? To be having a lead role on one of those shows. Um, and I really love stage and film combat. I'm trained in like all of the weapons. Good. So I'm the part that gets to really beat people up. So having a lead role, <laughs> look at, look at, by the way, what's happening with Hannah right now, the, the light is turning on a lead role on what a game of Thrones spinoff, a lead role on yeah, some other sure. type. Yeah. But you tell us. I would love, love, love to do a lead role on one of these million Game of Thrones prequels or spinoffs. That would be incredible. Yes. And it would make you feel what? To have a lead role, to, to be activated on that, Hannah, how would you feel? How would that change how you would feel? It would make me feel so happy and it would make me feel completely independent and creatively satisfied and challenged. Um, and, and like anything is possible. Yes. So happy. Physically, where in your body would you feel that hit of happiness to be engaged in a project like that? Yeah, there you go. Where, <laughs> where, like inside, outside, like where in your cheeks? The whole smile cheeks area right now. Yeah. And if your cheeks could speak without giving a, you know what, what would they say? Give them, give them a voice. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yes, yes. And I have to ask the question: Is it fun? Oh yeah, absolutely. Because, because we don't, we, kids, we don't go in a sandbox and play, let's cut each other's legs off. We play, let's have yeah. some fun. You know, this is always meant to be fun. Yeah. Great. And now, Hannah, I want you to construct an event. And this is really important because this is an event that's going to happen that you would, without a shadow of a doubt, know that it has happened. Like what, what event would you cross specifically that you would know that you had a lead on the neck on the Game of Thrones prequel or or one of those spinoffs, like how what would the, what would make it real? Coming in that envelope and like opening up and seeing like that cover page, you know that like confidential cover page of that confidential script. That, that script, would, yeah. And where would you be when that happens? Like really specifically, paint the picture, talk to our eyes, show us where you would be when you have that experience. How do you like, see it? 
You mean like where I would be as in like location or exactly like a little- where you would oh, be yeah. location wise, opening that package of that first script. Like you said, um, I would probably be in my grandmother's apartment. She would be that. Good. Um, Is she around? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She's uh, she lives in the village. Um, she's a really Good. cool lady. She's much cooler than I am. Um, and where in her apartment would you be? Like really specifically, where? Uh, the, the living room by the front with a gigantic window. There's all this light that streams in. Yes. Um, and I would get it, and I would like probably scream like I just did. Do it again. You get it from the mailbox. I would. I would. I would get it. It would come up to the floor. It would be like delivered. And it would be like slip under the door. And I would get it and I would just like do that screaming thing. I'm like, how would you, how would you know it wasn't a Postmates or something? How would you know it was the script? Because I would open it. It would have my name on the front. It would say, it would have your name. Good. And and where would you put it? Would you have it in your hands? Would you put it down somewhere? Yeah, I would absolutely. I would never let it go. Are you kidding me? Um, And what does it say on it? What does it say? It says confidential for Hannah Rose, you know, um, yes. do not share. Um, and I would not be able to contain myself from reading it. I would contain myself from sharing it. Don't I contain would. yourself. What would you say if you couldn't contain yourself? If you couldn't hold back, what would you say? Woo! Again. Woo! Good. Do it again. Woo! Good. The script just dropped, right? Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. And then what would you do? Like, does anybody, like, would you, would you call somebody? Would you tell oh, somebody? Yeah, what would happen? Would- would call all of my family um and tell them that i couldn't tell them things who and would you call first oh man um it's I'd okay you don't have to dad, my grandmother would be there good I would, I would call my dad because he'd be really pissed if i called anybody else. and what would you say to your dad right now on the phone i'm excited about a thing that i can't tell you about yay and what would he what would he say to you he'd probably say does it pay money um, uh, <laughs> and then what would you say back to him so much money yeah yes yes <laughs> And you would hang up that phone, Hannah, and you would feel, where in your body would you feel this? Physically, where would you feel what you're feeling? Here. Yeah. And what does it feel like? Uh, or what does it look like? Anything. I don't even know that it has words. Um, it, hey. It's like a, it, it feels very big and expansive and open, but also very calm. Touch it. Where do you feel that? Physically, where do you feel it? Good. If it could, that's your heart space. If, if your heart, yeah. that space could say something. What would it say? Give it a voice or a sound or music or sing or anything. If it could just express, what would it say without thinking? It would say, we're there. Say it again. We're there. Again. We're there. Again. We're there. Hannah, how do you feel right now? Um, very emotional. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to ask you, thank you, by the way. What would you say to your past self? What would you say to her that wasn't there yet? If you could just deliver a message without thinking. I would say um, it was worth all of the heartache and worth all of the time and uh, worth all of the not understanding, you know? Um, I'd say it was worth all of that. Yeah. And what should you, what, and what, what, what instructions would you give to yourself? This is so beautiful and thank you again. What would you say? Yeah, it's okay. No, this is, um, this is I- what's wanted. Because you imagine if a filmmaker, anybody in your life that could see you right now lit up and glowing the way that we as a community are seeing you, there is no way we would not want to spend time with you and to work with you. What would you say to her? You know, what instructions would you give to her? Um, I'd say, hang in there, kiddo. <laughs> you know? Say it again. Hang in there, kiddo. And if I popped in and I said, hey, Hannah, thank you for letting me work with you in that <laughs> really fun backstage event we did. Hey, Hannah, how did you get there? What did you do? How did you get there? Um, I never stopped believing. I never stopped working towards it. And I found the fun along the way. Say that again. <laughs> Those words are important. I found the fun along the way. Never stopped believing. Never stopped working. You see the power of everybody listening that these, these actors, and that's all you as well too, the power that you have to give yourself the highest, clearest, best freaking guidance to get to where you want to get to. And I want you to now say out loud, I remember when. I remember when I was feeling. I remember when I was feeling low. Yes. And was that fun? No. No. God, no. And now I'm feeling what? Elated. And Say it again. Elated and content. This was spectacular. Thank you for your bravery for trusting in the safety of this space, which is really important. It's the most important thing to me in the work that, that I do and we do here. Uh, it was beautiful. So Hannah, thank you so much for, for doing, for, for being me. willing to work. Oh my God, it's a joy. 
this a joy because this is your, and, and I ask everybody again, I'm, we're all working through this together. I'm not just working with Jade and Hannah and talking to Brianna. We're all working through this together. I want you to all ask yourselves right now, what do you feel and what do you see when you connect with Hannah right now? Um, because I am willing to bet you have, you have people feeling things in their body from wherever they're at. And if you can make people all over the world feel what they're feeling right now, and Jade as well, can you imagine what a small team in a room is going to feel like or a small uh, team via Zoom is going to feel like? Um, and you're lit up, you know, that you're lit. And you don't have to go, you don't have to do anything because great art, it has nothing to do with your effort. It has everything to do with your impact. And we're solving some major problems right now in not a long period of time. So congratulations to you, Hannah, and to you, Jade, on this new place. And you don't have to go back to any other place. Yeah. This is yours to, to be at for, for however long you wanna be here. So thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, so we're gonna do it again, huh? We're gonna do another working session. Hey, this is real, you know? Stuff's happening in real time. This is awesome. So Jade, Thanks for thanks for coming on up and um, and hanging out and working with me today. Tell Thank everybody you for having me here, both of you. That's amazing. Pleasure, um, such a pleasure. Jade, tell everybody who you are again. Uh, where you're located, just for a reference point for everybody. Yeah, so my name is Jade Geiger, and I'm currently located in Orlando, Florida. Okay, cool. Currently located in Orlando, Florida. All right, so we're gonna start with this. So everybody listening, I want you to think about, I'm gonna ask Jade a question, but I'm really asking everybody here. Jade, I want you to think about, um, I have a little information about you here, but I, I, I want you to think about what you want, what would be awesome. And don't go halfway to those dreams, everybody. I want you to go all the way. There's something really incredible about going to the end of your fantasies and living there. Um, you know, capturing the emotions of the end of your fantasy and, and living there and then looking back on that. So Jade, what you, you mentioned that you'd like to improve your authenticity in your auditions and acting. You say that you want to book small films so you can work up to booking feature films and you've been acting on and off for five years, but fully concentrated on the craft for one year. First of all, congratulations. That's really cool. Thank you. So what I want to know is, I don't want to know about the small films you want to book. I want you to tell me what is, what is, what are one of those ultimate fantasy dreams that you would like to do? The getting clarity part is very fun because it's, it's not enough to say, I just want to work a lot. You, you don't want to just take, have the attitude. I'll take what I can get. You want to have a very clear vision for that. So what would be awesome, Jade? The dreams nobody will judge. Oh, the dreams. I think yeah. for me, it would be to be on a set and know that I'm a lead care, a lead in a feature film, probably directed uh, by like Steven Spielberg or there you go, Tina Reeves or someone just truly amazing who knows who knows the actors in the script and just amazing people. I think that would be my dream to have a lead in a feature film or um, in a TV series. Those are Terrific. my dreams. The end and goal for me. Yes. Look at your face right now. Okay. So pick one. What would be the most awesome just for fun, knowing you could do them all? Would it be Spielberg? Would it be Keanu Reeves? Like what would be the most exciting? Let's choose one. I think like Steven Spielberg. Yes, Thanks. yes. <laughs> and and what kind of role would you have? I don't, a lead, lead yes. role, I guess. Those words matter, everybody. Those words matter. And if you're not up here doing with this with me, please talk it out loud. We're all working through this together. How would it feel, Jade, to have a lead role on a Steven Spielberg movie? How would you feel if that were happening now? How would you feel? I think I would probably wake up every day three hours before my alarm clock <laughs> i yes. would i think every day would be Good. a new day every day would be something you look forward to something you're just excited to get up get out the door put on clothes get it ready and just 
go and do what you were meant to do. So you said excited. That's an emotionally specific word. Is that true? Would you feel excited? Oh, I would. Yes, I would feel so excited. I think I would feel like every day was, I don't know, you get like a jolt of electricity and you're excited. And where would you feel that jolt of electricity? Physically, where in your body would you feel that jolt of excited electricity getting up every day with that alarm clock, knowing you're going to set, doing a lead on a Spielberg feature? I think I would get the electric, like almost throughout my whole body, but I would say in like my arms and my legs and my head everywhere. Yes. What color is it? Is it like, what's in that? Is it a color? Is it a shape? Is it a piece of music? Like anything? What does it feel like? Oh, um, my favorite color is turquoise. So it has to be turquoise. Good. <laughs> it, where, how it did was, you feel it? Where do you feel it? You said everywhere, but specifically where? I would say in my hands and my feet. And Good. Good. Feet. I want you to put it into this arm that jolt of electricity. And I want you to lift your arm all the way up, all the way down with that jolt of electricity. (laughs) More, more excitement, more electricity. Good, more, all the way, more. Turn it up to a hundred. If the arm could speak without giving, you know what, what would it say? Give it a voice, (laughs) give it a voice. It would just be like, this is amazing. This is, this is what I've been waiting for. Yes, do it again. Put it back in your arm, just like that. All the way up, all the way down. Good, without thinking, if the arm could speak without giving a, you know what, what would it say? Give it a voice. It. Say it again. You did it. Louder. You did it. Louder. You did it. Say it from that surge in your whole body. Say that you did it. You did it. You yes. really did it. You really did it. And Jade, question I have to ask. Is it fun? Are, are you having fun? I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Good. But look at you. Can I, Now, this is the part where I would ask everybody watching, what do you see? When you look at Jade, what do you see? And what I see is light. I see you lit up and I see you activated and it's phenomenal. And now I'm going to ask you another question. What's the proof? What's an event that would happen that you would know that this is real? Something that you would encounter um, really specifically either on set or in the morning that you would know that it's game on for this, this lead in a Spielberg movie. I think it would be, I think it would have to be the first day, the first day of getting on set, knowing that I'm waking up, I'm going to be there. This is, this is it. You've, you've hit, you've hit where you want to be. Like this is So you're in your room waking up? Yes. Yeah. You're in your room waking up. Are you sitting up? Are you lying in bed still? Are you standing? Where, like get really specific. I think I'd probably be just laying in bed, just opening my eyes and have that realization like wow say it again what would you say in that moment jade if it were you feeling that what would you say wow i would say wow i would say wow this this is happening say it again wow this is this is happening and what are you feeling really look physically where in your body do you feel that what are you feeling and where do you feel it i feel it i feel it in my heart like you really feel it and i would say this It's just energy, energy and happiness. And if your heart could speak without thinking, what would your heart say, Jay? This is so beautiful. What would your heart say? Give it a voice. I think it would really say, you made it. Say it again. You made it. You really made it. And I'm going to ask you right now, what would you say if I popped in? What would you say to yourself? And I said, hey, Jade, congratulations. What would you say to her? that wasn't there yet? What would be the first thing that you would say to her? I'd say, don't give up. Say it again. Don't give up. Yes. And if I asked you right now, how did you do it without thinking? How did you get there, Jade? Because you're there. How did you do it? What would you say? What's the first thing you would say? Have, Have faith in your abilities. Have faith in yourself. (laughs) Look at the power that's in all of you right now, listening and watching this and tuning in. This is all, this is, you have the power to completely give yourself the answer to how you get there. Say that again, have faith. Have faith in you, have faith in yourself. Good. And I want you to say out loud and, and remember you guys, we're working out loud. I want you to say, I remember when, I want you to use those words. I remember when. I remember when. I wasn't here yet. I remember when I was feeling what? I remember when I was feeling discouraged. 
<laughs> Good. I, I remember. And, yes, I remember when I was feeling discouraged and now I'm feeling what? Waking up with that alarm clock about to go to that, that leading role in the Stevens. But now I feel what? Now I feel ready. Oh my God, say that again. <laughs> I remember being, feeling discouraged and now I feel ready. Where in your body do you feel ready? Physically, where do you feel that hit of ready? In my face. <laughs> yes, and if your <laughs> face could say something without caring, what would it say, Jade? Give it a voice, what would it say? It would say, you got this. Again. You got this. Louder, like you don't care. <laughs> you got this. Say it with your whole body. You got this. Again. You got this. Yes. <laughs> and Jade, you're there, okay? You're there and you can stay there. You don't have to go anywhere other than be here. Is this fun? It, it is. I like it. It's does it fun. Feel, does it suck? Does it feel miserable and <laughs> effortful or does it feel easy? <laughs> it feels easy. Really easy. Yes. And, and the next question in, with acting is that, are you having impact? And for me, Jade, you are having massive impact. I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my chest. It's beautiful. It's emotional. And the other question is, is it your version of it? Are you living somebody else's dream? And there's no way you are right now. And I ask anybody watching this, connecting to this to ask yourself or speak it out loud. What do you feel or see when you're looking at Jade? Because in this moment, you are tipping us all into you. You are somebody that is fun to play with, that we want to work with. And, any t and say that again. I said, if your face could speak at the end, what would it say? Give it a voice. It would say, I'm ready. Again. You're ready. You're ready for and this. There you go. You're ready for this. Four words. That is your word. Those are your words from your face and from that heart for you to activate anytime you want to. And I recommend blasting those words out of your body anytime you, you want to do that, Jade. Okay? Yep. Thank you very, very much for coming up and working with me like this in a way that you possibly you couldn't have expected we would work like this. But thank you for your bravery um, to trust in this space being a safe space to do this work. It was beautiful. Thank you so much. It was so much fun. I had, it was almost like, a whole new me. <laughs> but look at you. You are lit up. You are lit up. And what is the whole new you feel like right now? <laughs> Probably like I could take on the world. <laughs> yes, you could. Yeah, you could. And you are right now. And you can see the difference in, in terms of, I just call it a light up of an ignition. And imagine, you know, I just say, imagine walking into a casting scenario or on set or into some event in your life right now. And it's the thing that, as Brando says, stops the movement of the popcorn to the mouth. It gets somebody to stop chewing. You know, that light, it's infectious and you can light up a whole dark room with that light. That, that light, I'm willing to bet, lit up a lot of folks, if not everybody watching this right now. So Jade, thank you so much for, for, for jumping in and working with me. It was thank so fun. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure, such a joy. Thank you. What if this work, and, I, and I, I know it is, what if this work is the most powerful instigator of everything that you guys wanted to do? All the things that people tell you to do. Yes, of course they're important, but those things kind of fall into line around this work. Because when you consistently light yourself up, you create momentum. It's a force that is happening in the background, creating synchronicity events in your career where somebody taps you on the back and picks you and rings your doorbell. So we're gonna continue, we're gonna continue this. Yeah, it, it's, you know, I think it comes down to, it's like trusting that you're interesting enough, you know? And I think one thing that, Robert, thank you for this question. It's a real existential actor question is, one of my friends, Alex Ashinger, who's a great direct, uh, writer, actor, his coach at the studio says, stop controlling what other, you can't control what other people see and think, and you can't do it. And, and you have to do it for yourself. I always tell actors, we find many incredible, brave, fun choices that work. How do you know the, it's the right one? It's the one that's more fun for you, never the one you think somebody else will like. So it really is cutting that cable of trying to impress, trying to guess what somebody wants. Great casting directors, great 
producers, networks, they want great acting and great people. They don't want to be, you know, someone to try to please them. And so it's trusting that you're interesting enough as yourself, but that's a head concept. Trust that I'm interesting enough. How do I trust that I'm interesting enough when I don't? But could you imagine, which is what we do in the acting work, doing the work that, that we just did with, that Hannah and Jade just did for an acting piece and being so lit up with fun that it's gonna be easier to not do anything because great work is like, it's work you get to live off the interest of. It's emotionally lit up and yet then you leave it alone. You don't wanna bring your preparation or training into the acting. You don't want work that smells like acting technique or where you can see the seam or the line in the acting. So I've written it before in a backstage magazine article. It's like great preparation is like a properly packed parachute that prevents the skydiver from falling to his or her death. Um, though scared for your life, you have to bravely jump out of that plane, pull the rip cord um, and trust that you packed it properly because there's nothing you can do. And in the moment when you start acting, that difference between good and great is you, are you starting emotionally lit up instead of empty? And it makes it so you don't have to do anything anymore. The hook is this thing that we find like, Hannah and I, Hannah found it in our work together and Jade found it in our work together. It's the thing that makes it so you don't have to act. So look at the work we just did and imagine being lit up. It'll actually be easier to give yourself permission to not have to act when you're under the influence of those more powerful emotions. Mm -hmm. So I guess I don't want to tell you to trust, you know, I, I want you to feel, but I want you to think about lighting yourself up and then it's gonna be easier to not have to do anything because the moment you start acting is the moment where the technique, as Meryl Streep says, is balled up and thrown out the window. The scaffolding gets kicked off. Um, so you think of the work as filled nothing. We fill up, Philip Seymour Hoffman talked about it, one of my favorite actors. You, he, he said in, in the greatest roles that I did in Magnolia and Love Liza, I didn't do anything to myself when I got on set. That work was in me and I didn't have to alter anything or change anything. So you are beyond interesting enough. And there's a fun exercise I do with the actors at the studio. Um, but thank you for the beautiful question because it could, we could talk about it forever. Okay. Olivia, thank you. How do you get rid of anxiety? You out fun it. You burn, through the, you burn through the fog of those by displacing it with something like that. Because you imagine if, if Hannah or Jade were feeling nerves, they'd be obliterated by the work that they did. So you out fun it. And bringing it back to the body, bringing it back to you, not looking outside of yourself for that stuff, like always returning inside. Sometimes I'll ask an actor, how do they feel? And the response is like this, they're, they're reaching, but, but the direction is here, not out there is just to kind of come back like that. And, yeah. and also like all the other things are so important that you guys are learning here is that, but do you imagine how this would inform your pictures, how it would inform the way you do your profiles? It's sort of like, the DNA of all your future marketing material, social media, and all that important stuff. But it's, it's the foundation of it. It's, it's going to color all that stuff. <music> to do that is that you have to fall in love with you first in order for someone else to fall in love with you. And when you fall in love with you and you do that work, and if, and if Hannah or Jade had entered the room, that light because I think to do that, to get somebody to, to love you and fall in love with you does not require effort. Your greatest work should not require you doing a bit of something. It's about what you leave behind, the, the, the stuff that we decide to leave behind. And I always say there's three things to establish when you walk into any room, whether it's an audition or on set or a date or your family, you want to establish that you're fun to play with. You want to establish that you're someone that they, somebody can personally like and vice versa. They're figuring out what it's going to be like to hang out with you on set for six years or a year and no desperation, leaving your wants and your needs at the door to show people that incredible, incredible you that came out of both of your hearts today, Jade and Hannah. So it's more about what you leave behind and about falling in love with yourself um, to light yourself up, to make it so you don't have to do anything. Because I think if you try to do something, it's not going to work. And I would also say, again, <clears throat> to, to let go of that need to please, to get somebody to like you. Um, because when you enter the way that where both of these people, these actors entered from, <clears throat> it's not just casting that's going to fall in love with you. It's everybody. It's the whole production team. 
You think about everybody that just connected with Jade and Hannah, all of the, all of the people around the world, thousands that have connected, um, they didn't have to do anything to earn that. You know, that was something that happened automatically. So yeah, I, I, I think it is, it is again, falling in love with yourself first in order for someone else to fall in love with you. Shel Silverstein said it best, underneath my outside face, there's a face that none can see, a little less smiley, a little less sure, but a whole lot more like me. And, and that's it, you know? Hey guys, thanks for hanging. Um, I've talked about it before in other videos, but we help actors do a lot of things. This is something that we do, but we help you guys launch your careers faster, guarantee audition wins, reach award level performances on set. And we believe you can do it faster and with less effort when you're lit up with fun the same way that Hannah and Jade were lit. And we offer private coaching and online Zoom classes from Hollywood to anywhere in the world for beginners to celebrity actors. Everybody here is invited to watch the acting and career transformations live from anywhere in the world. And you're invited to a free audit, one of our weekly Zoom classes, including Masterclass, which is a small group of our series lead and celebrity level actors, where we're working on currently casting major film and TV roles, and booked roles to make the fun and brave choices to guarantee a win both in the audition room and on set. And you can follow us on Instagram at Joseph Perlman, Clubhouse at Joseph Perlman, um, YouTube, uh, and, and Twitter. And you can schedule an audit on the website, www.josephperlman.com to get our free acting and career tips. And thank you very, very much for, for, for putting this together and inviting me to do this. Um.